Good morning, good morning, good morning. Guys, it's time to get ready for battle. And if you're not in the corporate papers, you are wasting time. Let me tell you something that I did. I reconfigurated the corporate papers. Essentially, the coursework, the exercises, and the activity in the corporate papers right now will take you a month to do. Let me say that again, to go through all of the modules that are already there. I'm not talking about the stuff that isn't there because I'm going to be building it out, but the stuff that's there with the two primary training exercises and the things you have to do and the things you have to go through, literally, if you join the day, you're looking at, you know, if you're speedy and organized, you could probably get it done in two weeks. But for the average person, it's going to take a month or six weeks. And what's going to happen is this curriculum is going to grow. Right now, we're dealing with setting up holding companies and corporate entities, which is important, but it's not as important as the building a business aspect. So I urge you to get in now because next Sunday, there will, there will be a live training at 5 p.m. We're going to be talking about creating your operating companies. And then after that, it's going to get deeper and it's going to get tougher. Why? Because we're going to be building companies. I'm going to teach you how to set up your company. And, what, and we're going to talk about, and someone asked me a really, really good question. What are core business skills, sales, marketing, branding, management, and hiring. Those are five core critical business skills that you need to run a successful business. There are many people who are solo entrepreneurs. They are one person business. They do everything. These people rarely get rich. You want to know why the average salary for small businesses is 71,000 because it's just one person. You have to hire to scale your business. And we're going to teach you how to do that. And we're going to teach you how to manage them. And we're going to teach you so much more. We're going to teach you branding and we're going to teach you marketing. But right now, the way the corporate papers is set up is to teach the average person, which is you, how to do this in a easily digestible manner where you can feel confident and get this stuff done. And by October, if you join the corporate papers in October, you're gonna be September, you're gonna be literally three months behind. And also, uh, I'm, I'm gonna nail it down, I gotta work on it. You join the corporate papers, you get $250 consults, you get three pieces of swag, and a whole lot more. And we're gonna have the corporate ball next September or October. I haven't fully nailed down the date, but we will, where you will fly to Atlanta and we will have a big party celebrating our success. So that's coming. So you want to get in now. You don't wanna keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until the price goes up. You wanna get in now because here's the thing guys, you're looking at a two to three year journey. And the sooner you start that two to three year journey, actually start taking steps, taking action, and working towards your goals is when that clock, that clock starts ticking. Because right now, that clock, that two to three year journey clock is not even on. Because you're not doing anything. And I'm here to tell you, if you go ahead and join the corporate papers today, and start working on your two to three year journey, and let's say you're 25. By the time you're 28, you will be a full-fledged corporate citizen. Once again, I'm not like these other fake ass YouTubers who are gonna lie to you to get your money. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you so you will be aware. I'm gonna tell you starting businesses in the beginning is shitty. It just is. And there are so many of these fake ass YouTubers who will lie, it's like, oh, you can start a business, it's gonna be so easy, it's gonna be so easy. And they setting you up for the fail. They setting you up for the okie doke. 
And essentially, what I am doing is setting you up for reality. I had someone reach out to me and it's like, man, you know, the first six months of my business sucked. But I kept, you know, I kept listening to what you said, you know, and I saw what you were doing with this car business. And he said the seventh month was much, much better. Here's the thing, guys. You know why your business is going to suck in the beginning? Because you don't know what you're doing. Just like me in this car business, I had no clue to what I was getting into. I had no clue. Today, this happened. My GPS kill switch technician has COVID. So now I have to scramble to find someone else to put these GPS kill switches in. And honestly, I should have had a, a second and a third uh, possibility lined up. So we will see what we can get done. Um, but yeah, he's out with COVID for two weeks. So I don't have a uh, same day GPS install anymore, not for the next two weeks. And one of the things I want you guys to understand, this is business because I, I have a new Mercedes and I have two hot BMWs. I mean, they are hot and there ain't no way in hell I'm renting those cars out without a GPS kill switch in them. Ain't doing it. Ain't doing it. So this is my fourth month in the car rental business. I am a seasoned entrepreneur. I have good credit. I had capital. And it still is throwing me curveballs. So here you are, you've never had a business. You've never run a business and you fully expect that you're going to start it and it's going to be smooth sailing right out the gate. You're delusional. I'm telling you the truth because here's the thing. By December, I'm going to work out all the kinks. I'm going to have my systems and my processes. Uh, by December, I want to at least have my full time employee and I should be doing fifty, sixty thousand dollars a month from the car rental business and on top of my YouTube business, on top of my consulting business. And for the people who get into the corporate papers, we're going to start doing credit education because I'm going to redo because this is stuff that's going to be added to the corporate papers. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay anything. I'm going to do money management for civilians be to become corporate citizens. That's a new course I'm going to set up. It's not available yet. And then I want to send down information about that. So you want to get in now. You don't want to keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting because each day that you wait, you get further and further behind your goals of being a corporate citizen. And I'm here to tell you, Two to three years from now, you could be driving what you want to be driving. You could be living where you want to live in. You could be taking vacations. You could be having semi passive income. This is what we're going to teach you because this is what I'm going to do with the car rental business. Once I get it built, I'm going to hire me my first employee and I'm going to sell them the dream. It's like, look, if you do a really good job, you can become a manager. And what is the manager going to do? The manager is going to train the people. So you need to learn everything and then you're going to train the people and you're going to manage the people and you're going to get a bump in salary, a significant bump. I'm thinking about paying them 20 bucks an hour to come on pretty much anyone that's going to be coming on the, to Mac daddy autos, probably get 20 bucks an hour. And then you become a manager. Your salary is going to double. So, person I hire and uh, you know people were saying that you cannot like essentially I'm going to advertise the position as you must be fully vaccinated if you're not fully vaccinated there's no uh, point in you even applying see that's one of the ways to get around this because Erica's like you can't ask that question uh, I've hired about 200 people and I'm going to talk about some situations that I hired people on the in the corporate papers and I never got sued don't even worry about getting sued. So it's pretty much, we're going to talk about hiring people, how to get people in and all this other stuff. But essentially that's just part of what you're going to learn in the corporate papers. Because when you advertise the job as you must be fully vaccinated to get this job, they can't sue you for like, Oh, cause they knew from jump. And if they were like, Hey, I don't want to get vaccinated. They don't apply for the job. Just that simple, really simple. There's so many ways to skin a cat. There's so many ways to skin a cat. And I'm going to teach you all of my employee 
implement employee hiring tricks and practices where you can get the best employees for your business so you can create your semi-passive income. I have a friend who wanted to sell her business, right? I convinced her not to. I, we went to dinner and I, I was like, I, you know, she's a good friend. I was like, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Do this, do this, do this. And she did it. Now she has a business that provides her semi-passive income and she has another business where she does what she wants. So once again, we're going to teach you how to turn your business into semi-passive income where you can have a retirement-like lifestyle in about five years from now versus fire. And I'm going to talk about it. our rich journey. They're bullshitting you. They did not retire in eight years. You want to know why? He's like 40. She's like 40. They have been working since they've been 20. They retired in 18 to 20 years. 18 to 20 years. They ain't retired in no eight fucking years. They retired in eight to 20, 18 to 20 years. This is one of the things I see in the fire community. They actually deduct the time that they've been in the workforce and it's like, go golly gee whiz, I'm about to do fire and I'm gonna retire in eight years. It all matters and it all counts. That's some sloppy accounting. That is some sloppy accounting. And if you go ahead, send them this video. I don't care. They can challenge it if they want to, because I can bona fide prove that they didn't retire in eight years. They retired in 18 or 20 years. And this is one of the things you build a business and you develop a team with the hiring and you can have a semi retirement in five years for real with active cash flow yeah you got to manage it yeah you got to sign papers every now and then you got to show up but imagine having a business that makes you two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year and you have to go to the office 10 hours a week could you handle that i think you could i think you could it changed your life change your life it changed mine it could change yours so go below get in the corporate papers today stop waiting stop playing around because you need to be doing your homework you need to be doing your exercises and you need to be building your corporate empire